Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about My Hero Academia's new chapter, which is on chapter 382. Now, this chapter right here, um, I can see a lot of people having some conflicted thoughts about this here and there, and I can understand why, but it is what it is for what for whatever reason, you know? I mean, like, um, it was mentioned this about some stuff here and there, etc., but we'll, I'll get to that in just a moment, you know? So, if anything else, let's get this started. Um, we had to that there's a narration, narration talking about, like, um, what you may call it, um, about, about how two men think that this is not the worst or best scenario as it could be, but we also see, like, um, Ravity and Froppy going into action right now while Jiro stays behind because of the damage she took already, you know? I don't know. But one thing's for certain is that, like, um, things are not looking so great right now since, like, um, well, not so great or looking looking great for the heroes but not so great for the villains. I'll get to that in just a moment. We have to suit Froppy. Froppy talks to Ravity about the situation about Himiko. Like, um, she, if she had, if she had cloned clone a lot of people of Dobby or all for one, then things would have been very bad right now. But for some reason, it's not happening, which means we could use this to our advantage somehow, you know? I don't know. But, um, we have to it that, like, um, we have to it that they, they talk about, like, how the real, tw real twice manages to clone people when and could use their quirks whatsoever. However, even though when Himiko Chan transforms, she can only use the quirks of the people she really loves, you know? So there might be some kind of strange resist restriction or affinity that allows her not to do, that allows her to transform and do a double combo, but at the same time, same time, like, um, she can't seem to use the quirks of the other people. We don't really know. But, but we have to it that they talk about the situation here and there about how like um uh how like the reason why like Himiko Chan can't clone out all like um Shigaraki is because she doesn't love him here and there. Frop Froppy believes there might be something off the mark in a life or death situation, her feelings could change at any moment. We got to find the real Himiko Chan and and prevent that from happening. But what they don't realize is that they is that there are some clones of Dobby and Shigaraki in there in the twice in the twice like um in the Sad Man's Parades twice t twice like um Infinity Doubles you know that kind of thing you get the idea we do see Shigaraki a clone of Shigaraki trying to touch the floor and trying to decay it but is unable to so there might be something going on here and there even Him Himiko was trying to want is trying to wonder like um I don't get it I love Tomura. Tomura and Toya, but why is it that I, the quirk won't come out like how Jin could, like Jin or, or Chaco Chance? I don't get it, you know. And she, T Himiko even stated like, I love, I love them. How is it that I'm not able to use them? I even tested it, out, tested it before the battle, and it even failed. I don't get it, you know. <sighs> She's actually struggling right now and crying tremendously, which I understand why here and there. She ends up saying, Why can't I just become like Jin Kun? What's going on, you know? I think what, like, um, Himiko does not understand is that, like, when it came to Jin trying to, like, um, clone, um, Dobby and the others who you, and could use their quirks, is that he understands their structure. I don't know. It might be, it might be a little confusing. I don't really get the idea either, but I hope it gets confirmation. But we have to it that, like, um, we have to it that Himiko is already spotted among the in the darkness, but later on shows in the image right now, and that we get to see a narration again where it's actually Ochaku Chan's narration talking about I love seeing people happy. That's why I can't ignore her tears. And we have to it that eventually, like um, <laughs> Ochako will later on find the real like um, what you may call it um. The real uh, Himiko Chan after seeing her tears, or it is implied, I don't know. But <clears throat> one thing's for certain is that, like, um, they're about to clash once more. And according to here, I'm pretty sure we'll get to that battle soon, but we have another battle to go to, you know? We have to that um, Sukuyomi and everyone else is actually buying, is actually doing the best they can to stop, like, freaking off one from escaping, you know? All I know is that, like, um, he may be invincible, but he's on a timer. The mo if you can expire his time, it's bat it's game over. Jiro therefore shouts out loud, shouts out loud that cover up, cover up dark shadow, block out any source of light. That will enhance his strength and darkness, you know? We have to it that Inasa is doing all he can to, like, support them, support them out while, like, um, 
Hawks is trying to figure out we gotta deal with Himiko Chan's Himiko's double whatsoever, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, like um it is implied or it's really shown that um that Ochako found the real Himiko Chan in the twice 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 doubling, you know. But going back to like um Tsukuyomi's Dark Shadow against All for One, All for One literally blasted Suku Dark Shadow off of him and says, you know, the most powerful are the most troublesome of all. And we get to see All for One being a little bit more younger now, actually. And that just shows that he's at he is on borrowed time and that he doesn't have much time left whatsoever. We have to it that Tsukuyomi knows that he's visibly younger, but we have to it all for one side. Okay, I gotta start bouncing and run away right now because it's bad news. I could tell that from the very start, you know? And we have to it that, like, um, all for one is trying to escape right now, but we have to it that, like, we see Giganto Machia, which is bad news because we all know how deadly this guy is. He is known to be the bodyguard of all for one, but he's not really the smart guy either, you know? We have to it that all for one sees Machia and tells him to finish them off, but we have to it that, like, um, that Hawks ask, um, Sukachi san, we've wor avoided the worst case scenario, right? We see freaking Kikanto Machia throws a giant debris at all for one and gets and is about to get hit. And freaking all for one's like, oh my gosh, you annoying little insects. And we get to see freaking like um, Kirishima and Shinzo on the back of on the on the head of Machia and says, Hey, we're here too, Tokuyami, we're here to help out. And we had two Shinzo is actually the one helping out right now, able to like um whatchamacallit? Um Control Machia with this voice vo voice recognition and throws him at freaking like um and has Machia attack all for one. We don't really although we get to see like um we get to see the freaking any message about Shinzo Hitoshi Shinzo being a like a former star of the general course. You know it's still a little like um pretty cool here and there and so forth etc. So yeah, pretty cool, freaking awesome like um. Awesome chapter, but I do want to get to the point where people are not very happy about, you know. I think this one also involves Ochako herself, you know, because, like, um, people see her as another Sakura from Naruto, and I can understand why people don't like Sakura from Naruto, because it's how she is or something, you know, but other than that, um, as for, um, the scene right here is, like, um, I think the scene where, like, um, Ravi says she likes seeing people happy. That's why I can't ignore her tears, you know? People find that cringe and very stupid, you know? They don't understand why Ochako really thinks that way. But we have to get... You got to understand about, like... Uh, you have to understand about the situation about, like... Um, what you may call it? Um, about, like... Um, Ravity or Ochako, you know, because one is like, um, she, it was hinted at that she was already a good per she was already having a good kind heart to begin with, and that, like, uh, when it comes to people who are in trouble, she takes that after Deku, you know, and then she did mention when she saw Himiko chan crying when she told her off, you know, in the in the paranormal liberation war arc, you know, it really got her thinking like um i said something very harsh you know and she confessed this to deku how she wants to reach out and help himiko out because she felt like she was being unfair you know and that like um other, other stuff this might be applying to like um she's not she's not as like that kind of like um kind of selfish heroes you know and and i could understand where like I can understand why people don't like like that. Maybe because like how Chaku Chan is, but you know you have to understand like um that she told us to Deku that she try she's try she wants to ignore these feelings, but she can't. You know she wants to get the idea and help help Himiko Chan out, and I understand that. As for Himiko Chan, um her her ability in Corp is actually a little more complicated than than we thought. We do understand that. It, it evolved to a point that if she transformed into that person, she could use that she could use that person's quirk, you know? However, when she transforms into Shigaraki or Off One or Dabi, she can't seem to use their quirk at all. Only twice is. I think this might be applied to like um to twice himself only. As for Himiko, I don't I think she can't seem to like what's the word? Um possibly copy or like um Shigaraki and Dabi completely. 
it's a confusing thought, you know, because we all know that, like, we only see a bunch of Twice clones here and there, but how come she didn't transform into All for One, Shigaraki, or Dobby? I guess, like, he, I guess even if she transformed into All for One, she, whatchamacallit, um, she can't use All for One's quirks because, one, like, um, she doesn't love him. She doesn't know him enough. She doesn't know him all well too enough to actually love him. She thinks she loves Shigaraki. She loves Tomura and Dabi, but I think there might be something that's connected to that, which I hope it gets confirmation. Sometimes certain translations just doesn't work out that way, you know? You get the idea. But that aside, um, the scene with Off One trying to escape, pretty much he really is on borrow time. We all knew this from the very start, and he has to hurry up and get to Tomura because, you know, that kind of thing. But he got to Omakia, shows up, and attacks him, which I really hope and hope to hell that I get to see a scene with with Pinky and Red Riot because we see Red Riot and Pink and Shinzo on there. So I hope we get to see the scene of where them where they are fighting the army that's trying to free Gigantomachia. You get the idea, right? Because how in the heck are, is he free right now? He's supposed to be sedated. I, I think we're going to get to that hopefully next week or so because I wanted to see that fight with like um, Pinky and Red Riot against that guy who killed Midnight because I'm pretty sure they want to avenge her obviously from the get-go but I don't think they're going to be killing him because that will just only make things worse. I don't know, but we'll have to find out. So, yeah, I don't know what's next chapter going to be, but I hope like um it'll get released, but I guess maybe the author might take a break. We haven't seen the message I haven't seen the message yet, but we'll see. So, until then people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.